Yeah, that's great, Mary. I'll definitely make the wine party. Don't worry. And sure, Billy, whatever you say, you're always kidding. What's that? Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news right now. It is alleged, I repeat, it is alleged, that Boogie Pop Assassin was arrested today for either the murder or attempted murder of another young man three years his senior. It's rumored he had three to six months to prepare for his defense and finally, was declared criminally insane by the state. He was sent to an adult mental hospital where on the grounds the children were separated from the adults. Hard rock music artist the, Bo the Boogie Pop Assassin was born on September 4th, 1967 at St. Mary's Hospital in Knoxville, Tennessee. Those who were closest to him say that it's really hard to know who you're actually going to get that day. Mr. Laidback or the brutal Hannibal the Cannibal Lecter with just a little dose of Charles Manson for good measure. Whatever the case may be, a lot of which can be confirmed, but some, sadly, cannot. This is his story. At the age of 10 years old, Boogie Pop got his first taste of real hard rock by listening to a Kiss album. This would ultimately seal his fate later in life as he, as he would become a renowned rock artist and creative musician. Boogie Pop, who was a proud Cherokee heritage and spirit, received his first guitar at the age of 12. He struggled to learn to play his instrument as nobody around him knew how to play it and his parents could not afford lessons. Boogie Pop's behavior increasingly grew more and more violent, disturbing, and bizarre to say the least. He was thrown out and shipped to many schools because of this. At the age of 14, he was sent to an adult mental hospital. One can only imagine. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, this is breaking news right here. Channel 5. During an interview from the Webster Show, Boogie Pop explained that the facility he was in was a very good one. And I remember them saying that they were going to glue electrodes and wires to his head for some kind of reading or something. They brought over a pole with a big silver disc on it and held it about two feet in front of his face. I have to say, one has to wonder what actually went on at this facility. By the way, the recording was recorded many years ago. After his release, Boogie Pop did indeed finally get to take his guitar lessons. They were excellent, as he was taught by uh, guitarists and teachers known as Michael Davis, former 1970s rock star, world-renowned classical artist Ben Bolt, who would also play heavy metal guitar just as well as he could. And over the years, Boogie Pop's behavior began to worsen. Rumor has it, and I repeat, this is just a rumor, that not to be held li liable for slander. While in his early 20s, he hogtied a man, threw him in the trunk of a car, and dosed him randomly and repeatedly with LSD and sodium pentothal, while hooking up a speaker within the trunk that would, that would play sound frequencies so low it would cause great distress. And if exposed for long periods of time, it would have the potential to cause permanent psychological damage. It's things like this that make me wonder what kind of went on in that facility over there, you know what I mean? It is fair to say, though, over the years, the artist has settled down somewhat, or at least we hope so. He went on to have a family and what seemed to be a normal life, but there is one thing he has never given up on, and that's his love for music. This leads me to the somewhat heartbreaking yet inspirational story of how his debut album, Tears of Gasoline, came to be. It took him over five years of writing on the guitar for the album to be recorded. He stuck to his guns and never gave up till it was done. A friend of theirs by the name of Misty, who works with some big people in the music industry in Detroit, Michigan, brought him to a studio there, and Boogie was able to hire musicians to do bass, drums, and some lead guitar. Boogie himself did most of the rhythm, some lead, and all the vocals. The Tears of Gasoline finally had its release to the public on September 11th, 2019. Boogie Pop decided to release the album on the anniversary of 9-11 to honor the victims, firefighters, paramedics, and police officers who had put their lives on the line that day. Despite the rumors that may or may not be true, this guy has damn, damn, done damn well to pay his dues. And when you hear the music, no doubt you will hear the rage, the hurt, and the victory in this man's voice and music. Get ready, because I can honestly say this is by far the most creative, unique, and sometimes outrageous entertainer I've seen in, in quite some time. And I'm not sure if all the rumors are true, but some definitely have been confirmed as fact. But I guess it would be up to you to check out.
factual fiction. Back to you.